it's probably the case that the covalent BTK inhibitors will continue to be used before a non-covalent inhibitor. Um, so all of the non-covalent BTK inhibitors, um, you know, especially for pirtopertinib, which is the furthest along in development, have shown really remarkable efficacy in patients who previously progressed on a covalent inhibitor. Um, however, the study that just came out in the New England Journal of Medicine a few months ago now, which looked at mechanisms of resistance to pirtubertinib and CLO, suggested that when patients progress on this specific non-covalent BTK inhibitor, they tend to acquire mutations um, in uh, what are called gatekeeper mutations in BTK, specifically T474 mutations, um, and also uh, one other site that also has um, appears to have gatekeeper function. And this would suggest that it's not going to be possible to treat a patient with a covalent BTK inhibitor after a non-covalent BTK inhibitor. So I think the most likely scenario is that we will still see people treated with covalent inhibitors first and then salvage treatment with a non-covalent inhibitor. You know, the only caveat to that is that pure tibrinib especially has had really phenomenal toxicity profile too. So it's been just extremely well toler tolerated by only almost all patients. And if, you know, in head-to-head -head studies with covalent BTK inhibitors in those earlier lines of therapy, if you're seeing just this remarkable safety profile um, and in addition, efficacy that is comparable or, you know, who knows, maybe even better than a covalent BTK inhibitor if you use it in the frontline setting, that's really the, the only scenario where I could see us prioritizing a, a non-covalent inhibitor before a covalent inhibitor. The other thing is that if used as part of a combination strategy, it might make sense to use a non-covalent inhibitor rather than a covalent inhibitor, because you don't expect that you're really going to see um, the resistance develop to either one of them. And so if we see, for example, that pirtobertinib is easier to combine with other agents because of that good safety profile, maybe that would be a reason to use it, it in the frontline setting before a patient's been exposed to a covalent inhibitor.